Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and welcome to this very, very important, you know, video. So in this video, we are going to discuss one of the very primary interview questions that is being asked and one of the very primary question to find out the genuinity of a candidate. So, so, you know, this is the first question, you know, based on which we can you know, know whether a candidate has genuinely worked in Tableau or not. And the other way is we can also add these points in our resume so that it can add more weightage to our resume. So the topic is roles and responsibilities of a Tableau developer or day-to-day -day activities of a Tableau developer. Let us try to understand on how a Tableau developer will be working, what his roles will be, and you know what are his day-to-day -day activities. So do watch this video completely please do like share and subscribe okay so let us get started so to start off first thing is you know so we are developers so developing developers means you know we will be developing something so to develop that thing we need to interact with the client that is the first step okay so as a developer you will be you know involved in interactions with the client to gather the requirement here because we are technical persons we need to understand what is that client is expecting okay and you know how much time will it take to accomplish that is it actually possible you know uh, in tableau or not so all that we discuss during this stage called as requirement gathering okay so every day or weekly twice or weekly thrice depending on the flexibility of candidate and developer meetings will be scheduled and you need to attend you need to understand you need to explain and all this to and fro communications will be happening so that is the first step of a uh, first role of a tableau developer next is building dashboards okay so building dashboard means just a report building it's not like that so there are many uh, parts involved in that so first thing is you know once we get the requirement from the customer or from the client so what we need to do is we need to prepare a documentation or a technical documentation on top of that like from which table it is coming from what are the uh, you know uh, primary columns so if there are multiple tables okay so what is the correlation between that so for that we'll be having a data architect who will help us in understanding which tables to consider so we need to prepare one documentation which will be our primary document so going forward whenever we have any issues or uh, in project coming up or any new requirement changes are coming we need to update this document so you will be the, the primary responsible person who will be working on this document which is called as mapping document okay so please do comment if at all you want me to you know, show how the mapping document looks like looks like next is building report okay so the core activity that you know 90 percent of the uh, of uh, all of us will tell okay report building okay we will develop reports that is simple one thing the answer in interview that that will not work we have to answer all of these points that i'm showing on the screen so building report means from writing sequels to writing logical statements to derive the values all these we do okay and we also need to test our reports so this is very very important guys so like i have all uh, you know, always mentioned in my previous videos also we need to always test our reports for any bugs so again this is called as a testing document okay or test case document we call it. so you see how many roles we have added so we have added roles like you know meeting with client so we have added like you know giving estimates and efforts okay like again building mapping document so this is again one of your primary role writing building your report the primary role of a tablet developer and then creating test case document or testing your report so again one very important task of a tableau developer next is now once our report is you know developed so when it is developed we are in development phase of uh, of project so 
in a project we might need to migrate from one environment to another environment like say report migration from development to qa qa to production so this is the standard cycle okay so that is this is also one of our role like migration of reports now during this process so first as a developer we will be doing our testing which is called as test case document right so we will be, we will be doing a testing and next when we pass on to qa qa team will test your report to see if there are any bugs in the dashboard that you have developed so if there are any bugs that are identified they will raise one ticket so they can use any platform to raise a ticket it can be your jira it can be your remedy or it can be anything okay so once that is raised you have to fix that defect again okay so now you have to fix if you are suppose you are in qa environment and a defect is raised now you have to fix the report in qa and simultaneously you should also update your report that is available in development environment okay so two things same way suppose a defect is raised in production which means again you have to sync all of the reports like in production in qa and in dev all three environments you have to do so you have to you know report migration we are you know we have learned and fixing defects raised by qa team and fixing defects raised in production so generally what happens is i mean based on you know the the agreement that we had with the production team after our, our report is migrated to production generally we give like one month of support to the production guys so because already in production our system is stable so we are pushing one new report into that environment because production team is not aware what we have done we have we will have multiple communications with production team to show them what we have done what kind of uh, report we have developed now once that is done and once production team is familiar about it we will you know release from that and again we'll start working on new projects so that is how the cycle it is next is server activities so as a developer what are the server activities you will be part of or you will be involved in so one common request is publishing reports to server okay publishing reports means like you know once we develop a report we need to publish that in a particular place so that is publishing it to server so as you are moving into different environments development qa and production same way simultaneously you will be publishing your report or migrating your report to from one environment to another report uh, sorry one environment to another environment next is sometimes we might get you know a request stating that you know add users to the server or give them access to the report this kind of requirement we might get in real time so that is also our job like you know and next is if there are any job failures like in production generally all our reports are scheduled so every day on a given time they run so if they you know if any of the job is failing we have to identify what is the issue and we have to fix that okay so these are the roles and responsibilities of a tableau developer so like to be specific technical roles of a tableau developer so all these points you can add in your tableau resume to make or to add some extra uh, points to your weightage or to give some extra weightage to your resume next is sometimes you know during your, your interview or interview the interviewer might ask what are your day to day activities now this is kind of a generic question so you can tell uh, you know we can tell that okay uh, generally what we do we, as soon as we log in we'll see if there are any tickets that are assigned to us suppose if i'm working on a, a production uh, support project so there might be tickets that are assigned to us so it can be like uh, scrum based so like in, in this month how many uh, tickets are we planning to move to production or how many bugs are we planning to fix in this uh, month like that so based on that some n number of tickets will be assigned to you so every day as you log in you have to uh, you know start working on that defects show some progress update the stats and you know uh, do some testing and move it to different environments and make it tested 
and again so basically you have to own that defect you know and see that it is you know deployed to production with the proper testing next is you will be having or we will be having multiple calls daily with the clients we might have with the scrum teams we might have to show or to tell them what we have done today or if at all you are having any issues in the tickets that are assigned to you or you are stuck anywhere or you are unable to find out logic or you are unable to write the logic then this is the time where we can tell that ki boss you know i'm not getting this so you can get help from here okay so that is one important activity so working on assigned it suppose you are working on development task and it is not a support so every day you will log in and as you log in you will start working on the project or report that is assigned to you and you will continue developing the report where you left early like that so every day you will make some progress to that report and make sure that it is completed in the given timeline in the first point here here given estimates here okay now as and when the ticket is updated you have to update the ticket and assign it to qa team to test and once that is tested you need to plan your documentation and move it to production okay so these are the important roles of a tableau developer and day to day activities of a tableau developer i hope you like this video if you like please like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment thank you have a good day bye bye